Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. And the new IBF world heavyweight champion, Anthony Joshua. Heads off to him in this entire corner, man. Knocking out Charles Martin in the second round. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, for all who knew that or, th or said that Charles Martin was a dark horse because we didn't see much on him. But however, the little bit that we did see on him was kind of questionable. Man, you was definitely in the right, man. This dude got in there tonight and just looked like totally out of his league. Uh, definitely just got in there, just didn't know what to do. I don't know if it was the stage. I don't know if it was, it was, it was the crowd. I mean, Charles Martin, you should have known going over there, going into the backyard of Anthony Joshua, he was going to be facing a ruckus crowd. He was going to be facing a humongous crowd. And I don't know. It seemed like the kid got caught up in the lights, man. If you ask me, it seemed like he really got caught in the lights. If you look at the face off when they came right before the fight even started, couldn't look the man in the eye, man. Just looking at the cameras, looking all over the place. Just looked like he was just totally rattled in this particular fight. Timing was terrible. Just looked like a just basically nothing like a lot of people thought we were going to see tonight. Uh, however, Anthony Joshua, man, looking very impressive. Power there, man. Sharpers attacked a big right hand, slept Charles Martin, man. He looked good, ladies and gentlemen. You got to give props for props is due. Figured him out very quick. Figured him out very early. Uh, he knocked him down, what, twice with the second one being the final one, man. He looks sharp. He is a new world heavyweight champion. It's going to be interesting to see how he pivots. Um, he now, you know, he's an another name that you can sure fire add to the many good names now at the heavyweight division, man. You could throw him in there with the Klitschko's, the Wilders. You could throw him in there with all of them right now, man, at the Furies, the Hayes. It's going to be interesting to see if Eddie Hearn is interested in making a David Hay and Anthony Joshua fight. Is Anthony Joshua going to take IBF mandatory? Um, I, I do feature videos on Anthony Joshua to, you know, to see what the picture looking like for him. But as of now, man, you got to give him his props if you were a doubter of this guy, man. I mean, I don't know how much it is to say about Charles Martin, a guy who won a title on a fluke anyway. But, hey, the dude got him a bag of money, man. You got to give props. Hey, he went over there. He took that big bag of money, man. He went over to the U.K., made him a nice little paycheck, and now he can come on back on over to here and chill out and relax and, and enjoy his money, man. But this is definitely going to be the biggest payday of Charles Martin's career. Don't know if we'll hear much about him after this. He's a Heyman fighter, so who knows how they'll mix it up. But, man, Anthony Joshua looking solid, looking in shape, once again looking like he was totally dedicated to this fight and it showed man but it's going to be interesting to see where he goes we'll do future videos on that but man it was a great fight to the next video main man made man don't forget to subscribe twitter made man 511 facebook main man made man boxing forum i mean anthony joshua man real deal any doubters any doubters what are you going to say now because a lot of you uploaders and a lot of people in the ytbc y'all y'all gave this fight to charles martin eat your crows peace out